Okay, so <coughs> on TradingView, in, in order to format your Fibonacci tool, um, it's very simple to do. That this is uh, a, re a request from Steve in my team. Okay, I'll just do a short video for you. Uh, this is the default layout of the Fibonacci tool when uh, you're presented with it on TradingView. Now, it, it's a pile of crap. Okay, so uh, to format it for how you know you should be able to use it, we don't need this background shade you don't need this trend line really for basic use so just double click here and just immediately just deselect the trend line because for, for the way we use it you know you really don't need it on there okay it just makes a mess okay uh, and then what I want you to do is I want you to use only one color okay so just press that button and then just press black um, or red or however you want to use it um, and then what we want to do is we want to I get rid of the background because we really don't need it. So again, on the background tab, either just click off, okay, or select the slider all the way to the right. <coughs> I'll turn it off. Okay, with the labels, you can see they're very wordy, so we really don't need to see all that either. Uh, you don't need to see the price as far as I'm concerned. So what I'll do is I'll just deselect the prices there. Okay, and you can choose whether to have it as a percentage or not. Okay, I, again, I think percentage is too uh, messy, so I'll, I'll just have 0 0.78, 0 0.68, whatever. <clears throat> and then for me, the ones I'm really interested in um, are 50, 61, and 38. So a lot of the time, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make them a different color, okay, like this. Just select each one, make it a different color. I'll do that, and then I'll usually deselect the others unless I want to use them at some point. Okay, so all of a sudden we've got this. Oh, left the foot twenty three six. All of a sudden we've got this um, really basic Fibonacci tool for us to use on our retracements. Okay, it gives us uh, the retracement levels we're really interested in using. Okay, and then we can apply the others uh, if we need to. Now, extension levels we're interested in. Okay, uh, what I usually have set up if I want them is like the six one eight one point six one eight the one point two seven two. Uh, and the 1.414 as standard. Now, to get that on both sides, okay, what you know, what I want you to do is just use these ones that you're probably never going to use and just go minus 0.27, okay, minus 0.414. Minus 0.618. Okay, and as you and you, you can now see that that uh, oh, where is it? Minus 0.618. Okay, so you you can now see that I've got my, those useful extension levels on both sides. Yeah, for everyday use. Okay, a very basic Fibonacci tool with the extension levels on both sides for me to use as appropriate. Now. For everyday use, you know, I'm I'm not uh, likely going to use these, so I'll switch them off until I need them. Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll just save that as uh, my current template. Okay, so fib everyday use got done. Okay, simple as that. Thank you, guys.